There might be times where you as a student might miss class or the instructor might require that you present a project remotely. You might be taking a class via distance learning and you need to present your project remotely. So the easiest way to do this without any additional technology or learning a different program or anything like that is to create a PowerPoint and then annotate it and record the your voice and narrate it and then submit that PowerPoint to your classmates or submit it online. The same thing the faculty or the instructors can do for the students. If you're going to miss class, you could narrate the PowerPoint and then post it for the students online. So here's how you do that. So we have the PowerPoint designed and of course in this case it's how to use PowerPoint but it does not matter. It can be anything. You click on slideshow and then under slideshow you'll click on start recording. You want to start recording from the beginning. Now usually this will ask you for a microphone as well. So your laptop or your computer needs to have a microphone of some sort and then you'll click on start recording. From this point on notice that there will be a recorder. So whatever you say and whatever you click at this point on it's going to be recorded in a sequence. So all the components that are displayed on the screen as you're narrating it, very similar to like we are presenting it live, it's going to be recorded for within that PowerPoint slideshow. So we click on move on from one slide to the other with all the different components. You could also use the pen tool, control P, it enables so that you can annotate on the screen and highlight different components as you are talking through the PowerPoint. And to move from one slide to the other, I'm just pressing the space bar in this case. So the idea is you just go through the PowerPoint as if you're going in a live presentation. And once the PowerPoint is complete, it's going to ask us whether we want to keep the ink annotations. Those are the writing that I did here in red. We'll click on keep. Now we save it, upload it. So it's going to be still a PowerPoint format file. The recipient will receive it. They'll click on slideshow. They'll we'll start the slideshow slide to the other with all the different components. You could also use a pen tool and throw. And to move from one slide to the other, I'm just... And basically it's all the stuff that I talked about uh, during narrating it, the audience can view it. The only thing that they'll need to know is that they need to put it in presentation mode. You, they'll not hear the voice unless they start in presentation mode by either clicking start slideshow here or start slideshow from the beginning or pressing F5. So that's one option to share the PowerPoint with uh, narration for a missed lecture or for a project for a distance learning student. There's one other option that you can do with it is that you can save and send it and then you can send it and publish those slides by creating a video and that will create a WMV file format and the whole thing will be in one single video. Keep in mind that if you do this it's going to take some time for the computer to process all that you have created in your slideshow. But it seems like it uh, incorporates all the recorded timings, narrations, laser pointer gestures, includes all the slides and preserves animations, transitions and everything. So it is very powerful and very helpful for you to utilize this for your lectures, for classroom lectures, without having to purchase any additional technology. So to create the video, you just click on File, choose Save and Send, and then Create Video, and Create Video again, and you just give it a file name.